Casey Casey on air. I'm Nick. And I'm Alex. We're getting ready for a fantastic art adventure. Guest artist Kayla of Art by Kayla is going to show Casey Casey members how to make, create an art masterpiece. I love art. Let's go. Welcome to Art by Kayla. Today we'll be painting this beautiful painting right here. And if you have any questions, go ahead and raise your hands. How long have you been painting? I grew up in Haiti, so I've been painting um, since I was maybe five or six years old. And when I moved here, that's when I really started to take my art seriously. What's your favorite subject to paint or draw? Portraits. I absolutely love the human body. And um, I can paint, sketch, and uh, do portraits all day long. What instruments do you use when you're creating your art? I love oil paint, I um, absolutely love it. And my next favorite one will be graphite. I do love my um, pencils, so I love black and white. Um, monochrome is my favorite of them all. What do you use the most? Oil paint, definitely. Do your kids like painting? I do have three children. They are six, five, and four. And my five-year-old is the miniature version of me. <laughs> so yes, she does love art. How do you describe your paint and what's your style? My style is pretty unique because, like I said, I love black and white. Most people go for colorful painting. Me, as an African-American, I can say I'm definitely the monochrome um, that you see in my art and you see the black and white. Uh, this is what I can say. Um, it's different from everyone. Where do you get your inspiration to create? I get my inspiration from looking at different pictures. Um, I, I, I ask people to pose for me and I will take um, the pictures and then I will paint from there. I will add background details to it, but mostly from a photograph. How do you describe your paint and video classes? Those will come in out in August and you can actually learn how to sketch, how to paint online. And I will do two versions. Some will be recorded and some will be live. Is there an age limit? No, actually, I had kids younger than three years old come here and paint. The only thing I ask, if they are four and younger, parents might want to stay close by to help. What's the best advice you've ever been given about your art? Keep painting, keep drawing, keep creating. Once you stop, you're making a step backward. If you keep painting, you can only go forward. What advice do you give your students? If you're interested in art, pick a pencil now. Start now. And don't wait until you're 18, don't wait until you're 16, just do it. And like a blank canvas will just put something on there. And every day you will put something on there, the better, the better you'll get. How do people get more information? The easiest way is by going on my website. It's www.artbykayla.com. And everything should be on there. And there's also a chatting box where if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to um, um, chat with me on there. Besides painting, what do you do for fun? Besides painting, I think I like I homeschool my children. So that's another thing. We just, I, I'm a teacher either here or at home. And I read a lot of math book as I did go to school to be um, an engineer prior to my art career. So I do take math classes online as well. What's your favorite color? Wow, I have so many. <laughs> Let's see purple. <laughs> We're gonna do, we're gonna try to make this a little bit bigger, okay? Here we go. Big brush? Big brush. Mix the, a little bit of blue with some white. Let's go ahead and make a light blue color. Mix Yay. a little bit of blue okay. with, with, some, with some white, with all the white that you have. 
And what I want you guys to do is, you're gonna go ahead and paint the side, okay? I'm gonna paint, paint sideways. sideways. Paint sideways, I love it. Try your best not to get any <laughs> in there, okay? Now go ahead and paint. Hey, my sky looks great. I'm doing this. Well, can we bring this home? Yes, we are going yeah. home today. It's a really paint, it dries really quick as opposed to oil paint. That takes about six months to dry. Six? Six months to dry. Well, that's a fun fact. Okay, that's a fun fact. That's cool. When you're done, I want you guys to go ahead and rinse out your paintbrush. And make sure you use your towels to go ahead and... A towel to dry it out. To dry it out. Yes. That's great. Oh, yeah. This is like, yeah, go ahead and rinse out your paper. I want you guys to go ahead and grab some yellow. Black and yellow. Wait, what's this? Yeah. We'll grab some yellow, and I want you to go ahead and paint this area yellow. Yeah. With a medium brush or not? Okay, with, still with the big brush. Still with the big brush. Can I get it out of my hand? What you're going to do, you can paint on top of everything. I can't use this. A little bit more yellow with the big brush and fill this area. Wait, what? No, I'm comparing. Grab some black. You Grab remember that area? I asked you guys to leave it blank. We're gonna go ahead and fill in this area as black. If you put yellow, don't worry about it. It's black, it will definitely cover it up. So grab some black. Look at mommy. I know, you guys are doing really great. The next step is where everyone is going to have a hard time. But it's easy, okay? It's all about shapes. Painting, it's all about shape. We're going to come right in here. We're going to do a rectangle. Now, how... Think about how many dogs you want on your wagon, okay? If you just want, one. If you want just one, just make sure your wagon is not too wide, okay? Okay. So, also, you guys notice the wagon has wheels, right? So yeah. there should be a distance between the ground and the wagon, right? So when you're doing your rectangle, make sure you, you know, there's a space from here to here. We're gonna draw a circle here. Oops. A circle here. Okay. And a circle here. Go ahead and connect the wheels. Oh, we do wheels. Connect the wheels. Okay. I one line it. here. I put the on. One line here. One well, line done. here. One line here. So I now the next step I want you guys to do is grab your small brush. I'm not the even done yet. small one, and I want you guys to go ahead and <coughs> fill it in with black. Uh, this is my masterpiece. <laughs> right here, we're gonna do a rectangle. <laughs> From there, I want you guys to go ahead and put another rectangle on top of the tall one but we don't want it to be as tall as the other one okay i want you guys to go ahead and add these ears to the side big ears small ears it really doesn't matter how you do the ears you're gonna grab your small brush you're gonna grab black you're gonna take a little bit of black and we're gonna go ahead and fill that in black i'm not even done yet okay i just need a Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. You can do anything you want to do. It's your painting, okay? I'm running quick. Let's go ahead and let it dry and we'll put yellow on there. Very nice, guys. I'm done. I think I'm done.